Getting stolen on, man. I don't know if y'all ever <laughs> remember back in the day getting jumped on. When I was in high school, uh, I got graduated in 97. When 97 people that clap it up, okay, all right, we survived. Shit, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> we didn't have made it out that motherfucker, fuck it. <laughs> but uh, economy and everything changed so much, people don't talk about like real shit. And I just remember, I remember high school like a motherfucker. That's the reason I wanted to do the shows, because it was the funniest times of our life, you know what I mean? You can walk in the lunchroom, motherfucker, beat the table, and roast your ass at the same time, niggas. But uh, why did we survive on that bullshit, though? The bullshit as in, who eat pizza and milk every day? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Do y'all understand the lunch food we had? That shit was, a super donut is definitely a diabetes pack. It gotta be. That was donut. <laughs> it was, all right? How the fuck we eat that air flat in the house for breakfast, nigga? That was. And we didn't even have flame hot at the time. We had uh, hot stuff. Yeah, hot cheese dudes. That shit was that shit was uh, that shit was hot, salt, and red. That's all it was. Those were three ingredients. Hot, salt, and red. Used to have that little <laughs> little blood pressure pack in the corner. You know the little. <laughs> you eat that motherfucker. All the little crumbs and a little salt and the reds. Eat that motherfucker. <laughs> I think about that shit all the time. Like I don't know if they were trying to kill us. I don't. You think about it, man, as you get grown, you start thinking about real life shit. Was, was they trying to kill us, motherfucker? <laughs> Them blue juice is so thick, I swear to God you couldn't drink one right now. I don't give a what, try to drink a blue juice right now, you got to be in a nap after that motherfucker, you got to call your doctor, your forehead gonna be sweating. You remember that thick, barely watered syrup? It should be straight syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Eat that shit with pickle juice and the pepper thing in it. What the fuck? <laughs> but the times was good though. That's back had to get a girl nails done. If anybody ever got a girl nails done in high school, anybody? No, nope, I was the only nigga tricking off of high school. <laughs> it wasn't for 35. I was you cheap motherfuckers died. You only had to do it one a semester. That's all you had to do was one semester. She kept them nails a whole two months on your ass. <laughs> I'm the only trick off there, I, I tricked off high school. I don't even what you're talking about. Shit, I bought a girl a pair of Jordans like my sophomore year. I was straight for the rest of the, the rest of the junior and senior year. I lived off them Jordans. I ate off them motherfuckers. Well, what? I heard you buy 100 Jordans. Show sure did. <laughs> we walked in that school happy as hell. Both of us with Jordans on. I was like, oh, shit. We killing these motherfuckers in here. What? I was still in high school, if y'all already know. Uh, I didn't have money. I just stole. I went to the clothing store and had the dopest stealing operation. <laughs> I stole from every job I had. You ain't no real motherfucker. Like, I hate people. I hate a company motherfucker. I can't stand a motherfucker who love their job and love their company. I hate, I hate a loyal employee. Fuck this job. Are you fucking serious? I worked at a, I, let me tell you, the first job I stole for was a Wendy's. I worked at Wendy's. It was my first stealing job. People say, how you steal from Wendy's? What do you steal from Wendy's? Slabs of meat, motherfucker. Slabs. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I was, I was a stock boy. When, when you're at work, to me, my mama, I come from a family thief, y'all. I know my mama was a thief, my dad was a thief. It was like a whole stolen merchandise thing in my house my whole childhood. So she always taught me, when you get on the job, become the best employee, and rob their motherfucking ass blinds. That's, that's, that was gospel in the house. You know, you get, that's why I've been like, I got it, I do it, I got it. That's why I'm trying to learn all the systems and find their flaws and weaknesses. That way I can find a way to infiltrate. <laughs> so uh, Wendy's and shit, right? Um, my neighborhood, I was always like a weirdo nigga. Like, I never really was like, like a thug ass motherfucker. Like, I wanted to be in the gang, but you know what I'm saying? I got a grandma and shit who real as hell. Like, roll up on the block with the station wagon looking like, if I catch your ass out here, nigga, I'm beating you and the niggas with you. And everybody in the block knew that. So it wasn't like, no, hey man, we gonna gang bang with me. She's like, oh no, it's grandma. <laughs> Might beat your motherfucking ass. Leave that little thug to himself. <laughs> on some real shit, my grandma rolled up with the station wagon, nigga. People got a lit blood in their hand, like, uh, uh, Miss Lester, uh, uh. So, uh, I was at Wendy's and, uh, 
being a different nigga on the block, like as as when you're young, you're trying to front, right? Well, I wasn't really front. I was <laughs> on some cool shit, right? One time we had an argument over who got the baddest bitches. Come on, we was young. Don't don't judge us. We was young boys. We we had an argument. Who had the baddest bitches? I don't know if y'all ever had this argument in y'all group. I don't know if women do it. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all trying to exchange dick pics. I don't know. But at that time. <laughs> Now, we were nasty as fuck. Give me all kinds of deep peace while we're going on. I just met him yesterday, boo. <laughs> At this time, we was on the porch, and the best time of chilling in your whole life was on the porch. And we was on the porch chilling, and we all said, whoever got the baddest bitches, they're gonna roll through right now, and we're gonna have a judging at the end of it. And at the end of the baddest bitch contest, so one dude had a chick from the neighborhood. We thought nobody was fucking, but she came over. Um, <laughs> Nah, that wasn't me, that was his girl, that was his girl. And then uh, another guy had a girl, she was just like weird, you know what I mean? I remember that, but I remember my two chicks that came through. What? At the time, it was kind of phony nigga shit, but it was still stunning. All right, I had a white girl and a Mexican girl come through in the convertible. And I jumped in the back, like it was like some Deuce and Hatch commercial or something, I don't know. And they was like, damn, he got bitches though. Like, ah, I ain't fucked neither one of them yet. <laughs> but they showed up. So. In that conversation, we decided to have a barbecue because we had so many girls pull up that day. And uh, we was like, we can't afford no meat. And I was like, I know what's some meat at. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we had double stacks everywhere. Like, I don't give a fuck what you say. It was the baddest ghetto barbecue in the history. Double stacks in the hood, nigga, slabs of meat. Nigga, y'all niggas don't know about no stealing. Nigga, slabs. We was on the grill like this, snapping the meat on the grill. It's double stacks at the crib with the cheese. Y'all niggas don't know. Then I had a, I worked at a, a movie theater after that. You know what I mean? That's the first time I got caught at the movie theater. I had a dope ass operation. I didn't have to work. I had to come in on my days off and collect money because I would have the doorman and I had a ticket cut ter terror. All of it was on a pay cut. So I sit in the back of his head now, who going through? Cause the guy would be sweeping out and he'd be picking people up. It was a dope ass operation. What? <laughs> so uh, the guy would get the people on the outside, ticket man would be paid, and then I'd be the one that scored a man to collect the money. Kill him. <laughs> See when the movie sold out, you know what I mean? You get a group of 10 people like, y'all did 10 people, hey, let me get $75. You do that three or four times, you know what I'm saying? We 17 years old. $200, three or four movies a show. I mean, there were three, show, four shows a night. She done made $1,000. You know what I mean? And shit, 20, 30 minutes. You know, every two or three hours. So we was doing that. And uh, they called me in the office like, man, we here, you the man around here. I was like, <laughs> 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 I was so arrogant at the time because I had another job in order to get fired. Man, but I didn't know nothing about the thief conversation. You know, they had this conversation. If anybody worked for Human Resources, they had a conversation with everybody. And then, yeah, they had a deep conversation. They, you know, they say, you know, we, we've heard that you've been stealing, and your first response should be like, shit, not me, I'm not a stealer. They be like, oh, okay, you're good. But if you be like, Shh. I mean, I get around a little bit, I do what I do. <laughs> things happen, some things come up missing, you know, I might know who got it, I might not. <laughs> so they were like, man, you know, uh, you're fired, you know, for stealing. I'm like, fuck this job. And then I start working with TJ Maxx. Now TJ Maxx is when it happened. TJ Maxx, let me tell you something about motherfucking 1996, 1997, right? They didn't have no cameras in the store. They had a nigga behind that fake mirror like this. <laughs> Did you hear? They didn't have no cameras in the store. They had a nigga behind a fake mirror. Obvious as hell, big dude, white, like if you st shot this, there's a big weird white dude I'm standing by you. You're like, oh shit, this nigga got to be so security. Let me just put this shit back. Cause I'm the only thief in here, right? I'm the only nigga to know about stealing. Switching tags, nobody switch tags, y'all. Huh? You ain't never switch, you ain't never switch tags or nothing? Thank you, somebody, thank you, shit. You get a $80 sweater for $5.99, and that's what you, you go to sweat, you go to the sweater department and just unloose that and put it in. You just gotta be gentle. It takes technique. But they didn't have security. So I wasn't doing that, that's petty thieving. What I was doing was uh, credit card fraud. So you, 
So y'all thought y'all knew me. Huh? Y'all thought y'all had me pegged out. That's when I learned to have personality. Like, I think I really learned that I could do comedy when I started stealing at TJ Maxx. <laughs> Dead ass serious. So, you know, at that time I had the, you know, I had the young frayed body and my little hair was dangling off my shoulder, so <laughs> what I would do was uh, I would pick out somebody in the line because I was ringing up and I would charm the fuck out of them when I swiped their car. Like, I swiped their car like, girl, look at your glasses. Where the fuck you get that? What, my glasses? Oh, shit. God damn, it's a good ass dress. You wearing the fuck out that dress? Man, let me tell you about today. Motherfuckers in line acting a fool, blah, blah, blah. Here's your bag. This is some nice shit you shot. I'll see you later. Got your ready car, bitch. <laughs> Kept their card, you know? and then my homie be in line, and then I swipe his clothes with the same card and give him the card, and it was right by the mall, so they go right to the mall and burn the card, you know what I'm saying, within the next 20, 30 minutes. I told y'all I was raised by a family of thieves. You ain't never heard nobody say they made a thousand dollars at the movie theater. I was a high level operation right here. What the fuck? I had a, I had a fake card, girl. I had a driver, y'all. This is after the movie theater. I had already set up shop. This is before technique, so they didn't even know who they hired. <laughs> right, this is before the job I stole, stole, stole from. This is my middle thieving job right here. This is the, this is the job. My first, this is my middle thief. Yeah, this is my middle, my mid-level theft. Yeah, thievery. So this is what happened. Uh, <laughs> they had a meeting at work saying, hey, Somebody's sitting up here, we can tell, because the numbers are declining, and we all have to tighten up around here, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna get a whole staff of a shrink department, and we're gonna get our top employees, <laughs> and put them in charge. Michi, you're over the shrink department, all right? I'm like, what? I will find this thief. <laughs> I get the speech. I didn't give a speech about even it was so funny, man. I was on the inside, like, man, you have to have some morals to work here and be a person of character. Because this company, look to your mind, this company loves its employees. <laughs> so this is how I ended, I'm gonna bring the first comic up. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you about the other theme later. This is how it ended. Uh, we had a serious meet with just the shrink department, just the shrink department and the and the big staff people, like the, the managers of the company and the district manager. So we had this meeting, like, man, we have to find this thief. So uh, it was a new employee, young motherfucker, younger than me, I had to be like 18, 19 at the time, but a young motherfucker, uh, I called him with a pack of socks on him. I was like, socks, uh, you must have sold $30,000 worth of clothes out of here. You going to jail, motherfucker, I'm pressing charges. Okay, y'all. Um, I was ashamed at the time. We found the thief, is my point. My point is, we found that thief, I did my job, I got a promotion. This is how the world works, man. I'm already hoping you shot. But that is exactly what the fuck happened. I put all that shit on sock thief. The whole $30,000 load, all of it. Fuck this whole life up with that shit. Like, damn, you must have been stealing for years. Even before you're working, you had to be stealing. <laughs> How the fuck did you get not get hired if you were stealing shit already? That shit. You think I'm employee of the month again? 